Once become operational, individuals who are brought before court are required to prove that their wealth was acquired through legal means. Cover Hub says consultations in this regard have been fruitful with all stakeholders. The proposal of the unexplained wealth orders will also require law enforcement agencies to strengthen their investigative skills and toolkits. Its annual report shows that between March 2020 and April 2021, the Financial Intelligence Watchdog issued 16 intervention orders involving 20 accounts worth $5 million. And this has brought in $24 million into state coffers. $17 million in cash and 8 vehicles worth more than $2 million are preserved. This means all these are now under legal action and their owners cannot use them until investigations have been completed. The Prosecutor General has also secured provisional restraint orders of 600 million of suspected corruption, fraud and money laundering. The reporting of suspicious transactions increased by 36%, while suspicious activity reports from financial institutions declined by 15.8%. The decline is attributed to the FIC availing more concrete guidance to prevent defensive reporting, which would have no real impact in disrupting financial crime, money laundering, terrorist financing, and proliferation. An increase in reports from the general public was observed during this period, and this is a positive indication that Namibians are taking charge and reporting financial suspicious criminal activity. The FIC continues to work beyond its boundaries with its peers to share and receive information for detection and combating of illicit financial flaws. We have seen an increase in the number of fraudulent schemes that take advantage of technological platforms, particularly those that caught many of our people off guard during these trying times. Criminals are taking advantage of the COVID-19 crisis by changing the tactics or developing new modes to pursue criminal activities. The Financial Intelligence Center has analyzed $13.8 billion potential proceeds of crime during 2020-2021 period compared to $17 billion in 2019-2020 period. However, this is not confirmed proceeds of crime as they can either be proved or disproved by further investigations, inquiries, and court processes. The FIC's mandate is to fight dirty transactions in the form of unlawful financial flaws. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Ventuk.